Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown gameplay trailer sort of kind of maybe thing. This is a new trailer. I haven't watched it yet uh, the first time. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Mew. So I assume this is picking up right from the last trailer. Obviously you see the DB11 and the Range Rover there. Customization, character customization. Mew. Mew. Nice gameplay. I don't know how I feel about that G-Class going off-road. It's all dirty and stuff, but you know, I guess part part of the game. What? There's a Porsche. I'm guessing this is inside the club. Lamborghini with the I-8. Oh, it's a performante. Oh my goodness. I like the scenery we got here. Solar crown. Oh, nice transition there. Oh, oh, watch out. Oh my gosh. Nice. And sh nice city shot. I was about to say shitty shot. It's not a shitty shot at all. Throwing in the cars again. Oh, that's a cool visual. I'm just sitting back and enjoying. Diamond. Diamond Casino confirmed. Ooh. Like that highway. Oh. Hong Kong. All right, not too bad if I do say so myself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you guys just got done watching was the brand spanking new Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown trailer released just about a week ago, depending on when you're watching this video. Now, before the comment section utterly slews me for this, yes, I know this isn't Forza Horizon 5 news, but Honestly, this game really piqued my interest the first time I saw the new trailer for Solar Crown. And the video didn't turn out to be so bad, so you know what? I thought, hey, why not do another one? So without further ado, let's jump right into the news. And I guess we can't start off this video any other way by saying, holy crap, a racing game is in Hong Kong. To be honest though, I felt like these test drive games were meant for these exotic locations, seeing as TDU2 was in Ibiza slash Hawaii. I've done some digging and found this out on the Test Drive Unlimited official website about Solar Crown. As you can see, it says, Welcome to Hong Kong. The organizers of the Solar Crown selected Hong Kong, a city with many faces, to host the next competition. As both an urban and natural jungle, Hong Kong is the ideal playground to settle the disputes between the sharps and the streets. To be real with you guys here, I had no idea that this whole sharps versus streets thing was actually a thing. Because it pays to read, huh? Moving forward, this whole graphic says the modern and technology leading city of Hong Kong is also one of Asia's symbols of luxury where the world's most incredible street racing cars can be found. But sharp or street, the city will only remember one name, the winner of the Solar Crown. Now, as I said earlier, I don't think I've ever recalled a racing game being in Hong Kong, like fully in Hong Kong. So this is going to be very interesting to see how everything is captured within a video game. At this point, I'd usually say I can't wait to get a full glimpse at the map like in Forza's case, but I guess a small glimpse of Hong Kong at the end of the trailer will do me in just fine. Also on the website, we got a release date, sort of? Yes, apparently front and center on the website, as you see there, it says available in September 2022. That doesn't give us a definitive release date, obviously, but it gives us a good stomping ground as to when it's going to be released. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video talking about Hong Kong, the location of Test Drive Solar Crown. I'll leave the link in the description for the website where I got all this stuff from, but if you want me to cover more, make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more from me, KP, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.